God's eyes, but in our capabilities, we are very different. Some of us are born to be leaders or great thinkers or athletic champions. We are all born with the right to a meaningful life within the community. But some of us, including 30,000 here in Israel, are born without the ability to easily master life's day-to-day -day tasks. For the mentally handicapped and their 120,000 family members, Hakim Israel is the most important organization in their lives, dedicated to their development, advancement, rights, and welfare. Shalom and welcome. Phil Blazer here. On this side, we have Danny Baram, who's visiting us from Israel. He's involved with the Keem. His uh, main job is reaching out around the world and letting us know in the diaspora what a Keem is. What is a Keem? Thank you for having me oh, in your sure. program. Uh, Akim is an organization which was created by parents of mentally handicapped people in Israel 52 years ago, um, mainly because of the reason that no one uh, at that time was taking care of uh, the mentally handicapped. And uh, they have no choice, so they created a, an NGO, a non-government uh, organization, to lead and take care of the mentally handicapped around Israel. Um, Today, it's, uh, it's the leading organization in Israel is spread in 54 uh, cities and also in Arab villages all around the country. We are taking care of all the Israelis despite their origin or their religion and everybody is um, being taken care. Numbers, uh, when you look at a half a percent, seems like not much, but when you take a half a percent of uh, six million, that's uh, 30,000. Yes. That's how many children and it's only it's only what uh, we count as a medium and severe mentally handicap uh, the uh, we are not taking into account those who are uh, uh, less than that uh, it's 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 a number in a, in any other country um, despite of uh, if we take a third uh, world country maybe will be more because of other parameters but uh, we have good scientists, we have good doctors. Many of the uh, previous Down syndromes uh, are prevented, but still we have other problems, like uh, problems during birth or terrorist attacks that people become retarded afterwards, uh, or normal accidents. So that number is uh, the number, half percent is what we have in Israel. And it's, uh, it's, a, it's a huge number if you take into account also the families which surround them, which counts 120,000 souls, which we uh, assist day by day from the minute, uh, from the time they are born until they become elderly people. We go along them, we give them hope. It's a light in the darkness. When a child like that is born, you know, it's, uh, it's like uh, the world is disappearing, everything is dark, there is no hope. And then, because of Akim, because of the parents, because of the solidarity of the people who are working, if it's volunteers or social workers, uh, it, it's, it's a new life for the families. They feel that there is somebody belong along and beside them they can lean on and being supported. And those children become really something different. Those people, those parents, those brothers find inside themselves new strength things, priorities in life that they never before believed that they, they were capable of thinking of or living. And this child, with the help of Akim, with the help of uh, so many volunteers in Israel and the help of our brothers abroad, become artists, some of them, some of them athletes, uh, some of them go and work, they are able to work either in shelter uh, places or outside in the, norm, in the normal uh, uh, activities. They live among the society. We help them to live in flats, or we help them building hostels. And there is a, a full scale and range of activity, like everybody else, because we believe they have the same rights as the normal people. You know, too often, those of us in the diaspora, Jewish or non-Jewish, I guess we'd say those outside of Israel, uh, seem to perceive Israel as a country that needs uh, financial help and the contribution, but they don't, they don't understand what comes the other direction. Isn't uh, Akeem kind of a, a light also to other such organizations around the world? 
Well, I believe it, uh, it is. Actually, Akim has been leading uh, many researches in Israel. Uh, Akim is part of international organizations around the world which are dealing, other countries which are dealing also with the same problems because mentally handicapped are in any place, in any country. Um, I must stress that we, first of all, try to uh, take care of our uh, mentally handicapped with our own sources. Uh, because of the limitations and because of so many newcomers, new immigrants which came from the so uh, previous Soviet Union, Ethiopia, and now from South America and other countries, uh, uh, suddenly a flux of so many uh, 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 newcomers came to Israel and half, at least half percent of them are also mentally handicapped and we find uh, more than three, maybe four thousand new mentally handicapped uh, people knocking on a Kim door on Akim's uh, doors, uh, and we need to give them services. This is why we come to our friends, brothers, and families around the world and say this is not only Israel's problem, this is a mutual problem. This is why we need your assistance, because we deal with the Israeli population, and we want to help anyone, despite if he's Jew, Arab, Christian, and if he needs, he's in need, we will help him. But the restrictions and the limitations of uh, the budget in Israel are such that we need, ex we, need we need the assistance. And is the difference between keep them alive or keep them alive with quality of life. And that's what we do. Well, as you've been talking, Danny, we've had some information on the screen so that our viewers across America can get in touch with the Keen and help. And I want to stress again that uh, as we close this uh, conversation that when we uh, help Akeem we're actually comes back to us in America and other countries around the world because I do feel that uh, Akeem and other such institutions in Israel, we saw Christopher Reeves, uh, actor, make a uh, trip to Israel and he said that he wished that he would have had his accent in Israel because the Israelis react quickly, they're, uh, they're, they're quick to uh, try different types of uh, uh, cures to various illnesses and in this particular case Akeem I'm sure is again leading the, the world in this uh, in this area so keep up the good work. Thank you very much. Thanks for being here. Since I think to myself what a wonderful 